Okay, next up, we're going to take a look at adding the actual contents of the page. So if you remember, Command Alt Comma brings back our global guides or takes them out. What we're going to do next is this banner and just the general layout of this page. A good tip to remember here is we're prototyping, so we just need to go through it as quickly as possible. Don't worry too much about the details. We can always perfect them later on. Okay, so what we're gonna use here is we're gonna use a box, drag it onto the canvas, size it up, and I'm using a height of about 494, but it doesn't really matter. I can change it up to 470, it's fine. And then next, we're gonna style this. So go to the style tab. What you're going to do is to change your fill to a gray color, right? You'll notice over here, if you take a look here, there's a section called favorites and you can store the colors that you've been using so far in the project over here by just pressing plus. Whatever color has been selected already at this precise moment will then be added to favorites. So I've already added my gray color, which is this gray, which we find in the header and in the search. So what I'm going to do is just to select the gray. Next, I'm gonna switch off the border. Okay, cool. And then if I say Command, Alt, Comma, you can see we've got the global lines, the global guides that this is what we have so far. Next, I wanna bring in a bit of text. So you'll notice there's like a bit of copy here, run through it, and then a bit of sub copy okay so it's either you use your h1s h2s h3s for different type of size um, fonts so you take a look at the sizes right now let's just zoom in so you see what this actually looks like or you can bring in your text field that's label now every time we bring in any of these components we can make sure that they are uh, they offer a particular size and font style. The way you go about doing that is by going to Project and then Widget Style Manager. And you can define what a label is supposed to look like by default. So I've set it to 12. I think by default um, actually puts it at 14. So you can change it to 12 and say, okay, I'm gonna use the heading one and type in caps lock, run through it. And then for the subtext, I'm gonna use our, oops, managed to pick up the background. What you can do with the background is if you select the outer container, which is this guy in green, you can actually lock it in position. So lock location and size, and that means I can't drag it anymore. So now it won't interrupt what I'm doing on the actual page. So let's bring this label in here and then uh, see if we can copy some of this text. Let's zoom in, enter, paste, cool. Let's just take out this part and take out this last part over here. Okay, cool, and there we go. So you'll notice there are certain little the guides on the sides, which will show you if it's aligned. To also show you the actual spacing. And what we're supposed to have is a button. There is a, a button widget, so drag it in. Yes, I'm gonna change the formatting of this, because you'll notice this button has rounded corners corners if you go to the style tab just over here if you take a look over here there's a corner section and radius bring that up to maybe 30 that should be fine and then we also want to make the color black no border and font color to be white there you go but let's change the text. 
by pressing enter and then just type in shop small caps okay awesome and let's take out these text files these guys okay cool and let's bring back our guides command alt comma All right let's take a look at what's next on the page is this trending carousel okay so what we're going to need is I like to just copy and paste stuff from what is already on page so I'm going to generally just get a, a feel for sizing we need about three of them and one which is peaking so this is about a good size let's press alt drag alt drag okay cool then select all of them by pressing shift select and then just bring resize them in to the grid cool and you'll notice at the top here we've got alignment controls and if you align horizontally we'll have equal spacing between these blocks and there we go i'm going to need one more which just sticks out like this okay so far so good we also need heading for that part i'm going to use an h3 and that's trending trending now okay, cool and then for each product it's going to have a title a category and a price and what i'm going to do is just create placeholders for now because we're going to do something pretty cool with the product cards um, so let's bring in our text label and just type in product title. That's going to be our placeholder for now. And category, oops, press escape. Okay, cool. If you make any mistake, escape is a great way to get out of any problems that you may have. And then retry again. Okay, category. And on the other end will be price. If you press shift, it will align it horizontally. Okay, and that's price. Cool. That's my placeholder over there. That's fine. And next up is this two blocks for two uh, categories gender categories so i'm also going to do the same just press alt drag and then just to resize it to about halfway alt drag and that's the other piece cool select the other one resize it to the grid and there we have it We've got two of these and i'm just going to make it a bit smaller somewhere on there okay cool zoom in a bit if to zoom in you press command plus to zoom out command minus but i like to use the mouse to zoom in and out i'm going to need a title as well so we'll just copy this one and the title here is cold weather running gear pastes okay there we go this is size 18, size 18. Let's just take out the bold lettering there. Okay, cool. And then uh, for him, for her, we're gonna do that later. Let's just get the layout. Then next is another, do that later. Let's just get the layout. Then next is another carousel. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this one. Select it all, alt, drag, place it down. There we go. And then there's it just in another two block and then three block. Okay, each one with a heading. Cool. All right, I'm just going to use this one here, this first block that we had. Mm -hmm. Zoom in a bit. You can see the alt container. 
switch off the lock so locking unlock it stretch it out make it a bit longer so around there should be fine okay let's bring in a heading for this and that says just now put this a little bit further down next up is two blocks so just like these two and a heading then press alt bring that to the bottom okay cool hope you're following this uh it's pretty simple right now okay we need three blocks for this last part so alt bring this guy down resize it roughly to about three one two it's fine and then just size it up okay and let's distribute it horizontally just zoom in and see where this is okay let's bring it in a bit cool and select these two again and distribute horizontally cool done and then at the bottom we've got these quick links uh, what i've done is I've already copied um, these links so that we don't waste too much time. Okay, so if I bring it here, got shoes, we got this shoes category, got the clothing category. I'm copying this from another file, which I had done earlier, just so that we don't spend too much time on this quick links part. But what you would do is if you want to do what I did is all I did was to select and then press control copy and then I came to the artboard and control paste so if you don't see it it's because something else was selected so control Z okay and control paste again okay okay just remove that let's lock the background let's just make it slightly let's take it down a slight bit and then let's lock this uh, outer container and then let's create our footer